Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to import the Paragon characters into your Unreal Engine 5.4 third person template. You'll end up with something that looks like this. This is just one of the characters. There's a whole ton of them. I guess this guy came out before they had cloth effects. So it all seems to be working fine. He's got a jump. He doesn't have a melee attack, but I'm going to be doing some tutorials about how to get those animations in here but they should come in no problems because I think they're all pretty much the same. So anyway, this is just to get started. Okay, so I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so I'm back and I'm just in a third person template and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go into my library here and you can pick any one you want. It doesn't have to be this calamari guy. Uh, we can go ahead and get this Paragon uh, Crunch guy and I'll just add it to my project and it's project seven I believe or yeah right here and notice it's 5.4 and add to project I was reading about these Paragon models and I didn't realize that it. it's actually was 12 million dollars worth of game assets and this was only six years ago uh, there's a ton of animations with these things so it's a treasure trope really if you can get them use them and put them in a library and stuff you have a lot of animations available to you okay so after the crunch is in, imported what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go into the third person template here this doesn't take too long to do and i'm going to just show you a way that i know that it works for a fact with no problems so anyway we're going to go into the third person template here the third person character blueprint i mean we don't have to change the game mode or anything so here, the first thing is we're just going to swap out the skeletal mesh. And here's the crunches. You see there's a bunch of different crunches. There's black site crunch. There's crass site crunch. <laughs> Golden gloves. Let's just get military crunch. Okay. So there's military crunch coming in. And it takes a minute. It's a kind of a cool looking asset. And if we go into the viewport, there, there he is. Now there'll probably be an issue with the capsule. There might be an issue with the capsule, I noticed, because he's bigger than the capsule itself, but we won't worry about that just right now. Next thing we're gonna do is swap out his animation blueprint, which essentially controls everything, right? So it's right there, and there he is. Boy, he's uh, really something, ain't he? But if I go to compile, I'm gonna get, uh, hey, I don't get an error. That's interesting. Oh, I am going to get an error. So we need to go into my crunch guy here. And what it is is that our our inputs are out of date. So I just did a tutorial on this and I'm just going to I'm going to show you a couple of tricks I didn't show on that one. Since I don't have VR, I'm just going to delete that. And since I don't have a game pad, I'm just going to delete that. And I just want to you can fix that stuff later. This is just working for the PC, right? So I already know how to do these by heart. We just have to change things. So just watch what I do. I'm going to come up here to edit, project settings, and we're going to go to input. And the old way still works, even though they like you to use a new way, the old way still works. So we only have one action mapping, and that is jump. So all we got to do is just write the word in. You've got to write it in exactly. Jump. It has to be exactly the same. And then what's cool about this is if you click here and just click, you have to be careful on this. Now watch, you click once on the keyboard, just once to highlight it, and then enter the key, the hot key, which is R, and it comes in right there. Now I know we're going to need four access mapping, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and this doesn't take long to do. The first one is going to be turn. And we're going to do the same thing we just did. I'm going to add uh, the, this is for, oh, how do I have an extra one there? I'll start over. Okay. Well, I don't know why. Oh, I'm clicking the wrong uh, button. That's why. There we go. There's four of them. Okay. So there's just one here. So this is where it's a little tricky. So you're going to click once and then you're going to click again. Now it's on mouse. You're going to click again. And it's already on the left mouse button and that's the one we want and that's a one and all you have to do now here is just rename this to turn then we'll go down to the next one 
and it's called lookup. And you just have to be careful when you do this. You're going to click once. Oops. Click once. It'll turn yellow. Click again. It'll turn into a mouse. Click one more time. It's going to turn yellow. And now just right mouse button click and it'll it'll select that. Now this is negative one. So go negative one. Okay. And then we go down. We just have two more to do. And this one's called move forward. And it is a keyboard. So we're just going to... We have two of these actually. So one of course is going to be... I thought I, I thought I clicked that. There we go. So you click it until it turns yellow. Right? And then you just hit the key you want, which is W. There we go. And it's a 1. And the next one you click it, it turns yellow. And the next one you want is S. And that's negative 1. Right? And then the last one, see this isn't taking very long. Move right. Click it, uh, click this because we need two of them. Click it, we need two of them. Click once, it turns yellow. And this is A. And this is going to be negative one. And then the very last one is click it. And it's D, and it's one. And that's all we have to do. That's not bad, right? And then we'll go save and compile. And all our errors go away. And then we're golden. So now, if I come in here and I hit play, look at Mr. Crunch. He came in perfect. Now, there, I'm looking at the feet here. You notice how he's a little off the ground there. You see that? Oh, just, a, just a hair, I think. Yeah, he's a little off the ground. So we just have to make one little adjustment. Come in here to the blueprint third person. And you notice, see how it's already... There's already an offset in here for the mannequin that's normally there. So all we're going to do is hit negative 91. And it's going to drop down a little bit. And we'll save that. And we'll come in and we'll hit play. Look at him. He came in solid. Let's look at those feet. Yeah, he's down there. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. And then here he goes. Look at him go. He got the jump and everything. He's got, he does have, I, I thought he did have a, I guess we got to add additional animations to him. So real quick, let's go take a look at his animation blueprint and see what he has in there. He may not have that much. Oh yeah. Event graph, oh wait. He's supposed to have some leans and yeah, I don't see any uh, anything else. So he's got he still have, should have some lean when he's running. So let's see if that's true. Does he lean when he runs? He does. He's got some lean. He does. He goes over. He goes over to the side a little bit when you when he runs. So he does have some lean. Yeah. But he doesn't have any attacks, so we'll have to bring in some animations for that. So anyway, you can apply the same method to any other Paragon model and it should work. So thank you very much. I hope this helped you, and I'll talk to you next time.